But I have a BS in criminal justice with a little bit of knowledge of cyber slash computer forensics. Do, uh, what career paths would you recommend, especially in a corporate slash enterprise environment? Oh my goodness. That? And that's a good one because I, I, I transition out of law enforcement as well. And, um, you know, one of the things I recommend and to anyone out there getting into this, especially if they're transitioning from like LEO or investigative into, you know, private sector or, or you know, cybersecurity as a whole, uh, differentiate between education and training. OK, so, you know, you may not have an educational background in that. It may be something to consider because the educational background is going to give you the bedrock to, to build on, not just for a career or otherwise. So so look at programs that kind of build that that bedrock or that good foundation for you uh, of learning the protocols, learning the, the you know, how networks work. Um, and that doesn't matter if it's at the community college, the bachelor's level or master's level or even doctorate level. Um, you know, look at that good educational um, foundation. Keytron brings up an excellent point. Look at trainings that map to certain pathways. And if you're transitioning out of law enforcement, a lot of people, you know, they just look at the blanket of cybersecurity, but there's areas like incident response, you know, where investigative mindsets are very well valued. Uh, and that's really where forensics and, you know, red teaming meet in, in certain areas. So, um, you know, value the skill set that you have, but build upon that. Incident response is a great area to look at. There's a lot of legal, uh, you know, fintech firms that are looking to hire those individuals, uh, legal tech, uh, and even private sector, you know, your, your Fortune 500 companies, you know, they're all looking for individuals that kind of carry that investigative mindset to the table. And just know that, you know, when I got into this and I was making that transition myself, I felt like I had to know everything. You're working on teams. So, you know, you're working with teams of people and 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 build that skill set knowing that, that you're specific skill set that you're really good at might be the right fit for that team and whether it be incident response or crypto or whatever the case may be you're going to fit in that organization if they value that skill set that you have so don't feel like you have to know everything but yeah. at least you know get a good foundation on it and then start to to practice and and look for areas that map or trainings and and simulations and exercises that map to what you want to work in and, and I think with that playbook in mind, I, I think you set set yourself up very well uh, to make that transition without a whole lot of grief. Have you seen WorkBytes, the new security awareness training series from InfoSec? Our team produced this series with three E's in mind, making security awareness training entertaining, engaging, and educational. Just go to infosecinstitute.com slash free to learn more about this hilarious office comedy. And hey, let us know what you think about it.